Hello everyone, this is Piper2031 and for this video I wanted to do a, a quick unboxing and review of my Nike Air Foam Positive Ones in the copper colorway. This is actually the 2017 retro version and it's part of the 20th anniversary celebration or anniversary of the first release of the Foam Posit. Um, so let me start off by showing you the box or the packaging. As, as you can see, it's pretty basic. It's all it's an all black box with a little bit of print over here. It's a nice shiny print of the Nike logo, which is at the top and on the sides as well. Over here, you do have a little bit of white, which is the Nike logo with the swoosh, which is pretty simple. I'll show you the tag over here. So the name is actually Air Foam Posit 1, size 10 and a half. I usually go for an 11, but in this case I couldn't find them, so I had to get them in a 10, which is okay. They're a little snug, but uh, they do form to your feet, so it should be better with every time I use them. Um, the color is black metallic copper black, and the item number is 314996, and color code is 007. Retail was a scary 305 here in Canada. So let me open up the box now. And inside you have shoe paper and it's pretty basic as well it comes in white and the only reason I'm mentioning it I mention it is because uh, it does have a little bit of print on on it so as you can see it's in white as well and you can barely see it here on camera and here are the Nike foam posit coppers and the colorway is inspired of course by a one cent penny so it's very similar it's nice and shiny unlike the real money which is all dirty now <laughs> so i did uh, remove the laces off of this sneaker right here so i could just show you the sneaker up close but i'll start off by showing you this one so here at the bottom you can see that the traction is herringbone which is nice the bottom sole is in clear or it does have a little bit of blue tint to it which a lot of people don't like in my opinion I prefer sneakers to have a gum bottom but this is part of a foam posit so I guess you have to get the clear sole uh, let's see over here which you could barely see it says uh, zoom air in case you're wondering what zoom air is I took out a uh, insole from another sneaker and it does have zoom, zoom air right here and this is the zoom air unit so basically you're supposed to have a lot of air in a very uh, tight little pillow right here or a little unit right there and in my opinion this is some of the best uh, the most comfortable insoles that Nike produces uh, you usually get these in Nike SB dunks which is why I collect them so in this case for the foam posit you have a full zoom air unit and at the back over here on the heel you actually have a double stacked unit so you have a second one right there now uh, you do get the penny hardaway logo right there which is the one cent logo and it's also over here at the back which is embroidered and on the tongue as well uh, let's see you get the carbon fiber uh, plate right here as well and because you do again get the clear sole you can see where it goes around so it's from here all the way here to here and it kind of looks like it has two fingers or two forks right there and that's it for the bottom now the material of course is foam posit and it goes all around uh, very minimal stitching so just here here and at the back and like I said you do get the Penny Hardaway logo right there and then you get this little loop right here so you can fit into your sneakers because they are a little tight and now I'll show you this one and I just wanted to show you the inside of the tongue uh, this is embroidered this little line right here and it's in the copper colorway I love this little piece right here which is nice and shiny and then you have another loop right there which is pinstriped or four little uh, copper stripes and this is what you usually get from a foam posit one the foam posit pro is, is different and then over here you have this durabuck or new buck uh, no durabuck actually i think it's called over here on the side 
this is the this is another thing I have to complain about foam posits because once you start wearing these, this is going to wear down, and I really hate that. I would prefer that you put a piece of leather uh, because, as most people know, that collect foam posits, they last very long, and so this is the only part that's going to age very quickly. And let's see, you do get a shoehorn which is recycled with the Nike logo. Here are the laces, uh, very basic laces. Uh, let's see. Um, I would have preferred that they make these laces with a chrome tip, but they're just basic. Um, so I wanted to remove the laces so I could show you the inside. And as you can see, it's almost like a two piece uh, design. So this is almost like an inner sock liner. And over here you get nylon on the side, which you can kind of see, which is in black. And then I'll show you the tag right there. And hopefully you can see this nice and clear, but it says they were made in China and they were produced in 2016. The bottom of the insole, it's, it has the Nike swoosh with air right there printed on. Um, and then over here on the side you have Nike swoosh embroidered and one thing I do have to say that I like that they did with this release is that they put regular regular thread uh, usually they might use uh, this type of metallic thread which I really hate because as soon as you touch it it stalls it starts to fall apart so that's basically the sneaker and as you can see, this foam posit is really beautiful and nice. Um, now, in case you've never touched metal uh, foam posit before, you might be thinking that this is like a hard plastic, which is, it's really not. It's more of a like a gym, gym mat uh, material. So when they're basically new, you can see them, that they're a little stiff, but in this case, it's nice and soft. And unfortunately, it doesn't leave a print either. So is very good I guess so that's it for this video if you want to see pictures just follow, follow the links to my blog and I'll see you guys next time take care